Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem. Today, we got a challenging algebraic question that might just surprise you. While I am confident you can find an answer, I challenge you to double check because the answer might not be as straightforward as it seems. Here is the challenge. Let's say we have a real number x satisfying the equation x power 4 minus 9x equals 20. Your task is to find all possible values of x squared plus x. But here is the twist. Before we review the solution, I challenge you to hit the pause button and give it your best shot. Test your problem solving skills. Ready? Take your time and you are set. We'll go through the solution together. Let's begin. Let's dive into our first attempt, where many of you might use a similar approach. We start by letting x squared plus x be a. Then we express x squared as a minus x. Square on both sides. We get x power 4 equals a squared minus 2ax plus x squared. Since x squared equals a minus x. So we may substitute into this expression. And finally, we get x power 4 equal a squared minus 2ax plus a minus x. Now, from the condition x power 4 minus 9x equals 20, we have x power 4 equals 9x plus 20 equals negative 1 plus 2ax plus a squared plus a. By comparing the coefficients, we have negative 1 plus 2a equals 9 and a squared plus a equals 20. Solving this equation, a equals to negative 5 is the only solution. However, if a equals negative 5, then x squared plus x equals negative 5. But here's the catch. This implies that x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0. The discriminant for this quadratic equation is 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5, which is negative. That means x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0 has no real solution, contradicting the condition that x is a real number. So, what does it mean for the value of x squared plus x? Let's reconsider the question. Suppose x is a real number such as x power 4 minus 9x equals 20. Is it possible that this equation does not have any real solution to begin with? Let me illustrate what I meant with an interesting example. Consider this question. Find x if x is a real number such as x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. From the given equation, x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, if we multiply each term by x, we obtain x power 3 plus x squared plus x equals 0. The difference between these two equations gives x power 3 minus 1 equals 0. Solving this, we find a real root of 1. However, x equals 1 implies that x squared plus x plus 1 equals 3, not equals to 0. Why does this happen? Partly because the equation x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0 does not have any real solution to begin with. Now, let's move forward with our problem and take a look at the graph of y equals to x power 4 minus 9 minus 20. It's evident from the graph that this equation intersects the x-axis at two distinct points. This means that x power 4 minus x minus 20 equals 0, or equivalently, x power 4 minus 9x equals 20 indeed has two distinct real roots. So the concern we have just now is not applicable in this case. Let's revisit the insight we have obtained. Although we haven't arrived at the final answer yet, we have uncovered some variable information x squared plus x equals negative 5. Do you know what this implies? It means that x squared plus x plus 5 is a factor of x power 4 minus 9x minus 20. Given this clue, you can easily find the other factors, whether through long division or another value technique. In fact, x power 4 minus 9x minus 20 can be factorized as x squared plus x plus 5 times x squared minus x minus 4. Now, if x power 4 minus 9x minus 20 equals 0, then it's either x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0, or x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. 
We have already determined that x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0 has no real solution. So the real solutions must come from x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. Using the quadratic formula or any valid method, we find that x is 1 plus minus square root of 17 over 2. Therefore, the two values we observe from the graph are actually these two values. To find the value of x squared plus x, we start with the equation x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0, which implies that x squared equals x plus 4. Hence, x squared plus x is 2x plus 4, which is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 17. So, the answer to this problem is 5 plus or minus square root of 17. Let's recap what we learned today. We initially found x squared plus x equals negative 5 using certain techniques. But we must always verify if these align with our assumptions and if there might be hidden solution. Avoid rushing to conclusion. Cultivate this habit will greatly help your learning journey. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you found this video enjoyable and remember to stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.